Good morning dear students. Once again, welcome back to the English language class. Today, we are continuing with the same topic that is preposition. Do you remember what we were discussing in the last class? In the last class, we were discussing about the rules of prepositions. I hope all of you have gone through the rules very well and learned it very well. But still, I would like to remind you those points, those rules regarding the prepositions. Do you remember what was the first rule? The first rule says, verb placed immediately after preposition must be in gerund form. I have already told you what is meant by gerund form. For better understanding, I can tell you that ing form of the verb is being known as gerund. For example, verb plus ing. For example, playing. Play plus ing. Playing. Go, go plus ing. Going. All these are gerund in form. Okay. Uh, so, verb placed immediately after preposition must be in gerund form. That's the first rule. The second rule says, when object of the preposition is an interrogative pronoun like what, whom, which, where, etc. The preposition takes the end position. I repeat, when object of the preposition is an interrogative pronoun like what, whom, which, where, etc. The preposition takes the end position. So if you are using interrogative pronouns like what, whom, which, where, the preposition will be used at the end of that particular sentence. That's the second rule. Now the third rule says, when object of the preposition is relative pronoun that, preposition is placed at the end. I repeat, when object of the preposition is relative pronoun that, preposition is placed at the end. We are using different kinds of words as connective to join different concepts together. And in case if you are using that as a relative pronoun to connect between two different concepts, the preposition will be placed at the end. Now the fourth rule says if the object of the preposition is infinitive, the preposition is placed after infinitive. I repeat. If the object of the preposition is infinitive, the preposition is placed after infinitive. And there I have told you what is meant by infinitive. For example, uh, to go. Go is the verb and along with the verb we are asking a adding a word to. To go. To ask. To do. To come. So all these are some of the examples of infinitive. If the object of the preposition is infinitive, the preposition is placed after infinitive. So these were the four different rules which we have discussed in the previous class. Today we are going to continue with the same points. There are a few number of rules remaining and let's discuss those rules regarding uh, the preposition. So without wasting time, let's move to the points. Rule number 5. Rule number 5 says, preposition can be attached with the verb. I repeat, preposition can be attached with the verb. Do you remember the first rule? What was the first rule? If we are using a verb soon after the preposition, the verb must be in gerund form. That was the first rule. Then what is the difference between the first rule and and the fifth, fifth rule, preposition can be attached with the verb. Let's see one example. I hate being laughed at. One more example. I insist on this. What's the difference uh, between rule number one and rule number five? Let's see the example. In this example, you can see, I hate being laughed at. What's the verb here? Laughed. And the next example, I insist on this. What's the verb there? Insist. Laughed and insist are the two different verbs used in both of the sentences. And 
soon after this particular verb we have used a preposition laughed at insist on so what the rule says preposition can be attached with the verb what was the rule number one or first rule says if we are using a preposition and after the preposition if we are using a verb or soon after the preposition if we are using a verb the verb must be in gerund form what's the speciality here here before the preposition we have used a verb that's the difference so don't get confused about rule number one and rule number five i think it's very clear to you okay that's rule number five preposition can be attached with the verb now the next rule that is rule number six what rule number six says in interrogative sentences preposition is placed in the beginning rule number six says in interrogative sentences preposition is placed in the beginning let's see one example by which train did you come one more example for whom was the instructions given see here you can see two different prepositions are used first preposition is be and second one is for so in interrogative sentences preposition is placed in the beginning what's the speciality of interrogative sentences interrogative sentences means sentences which are used to ask some questions okay so in such cases prepositions will be used in the beginning of that particular sentence so i think rule number six is very clear to you so dear students these are the six important rules regarding prepositions while we use prepositions we have to keep in our mind there are certain rules to be followed in using prepositions and i hope all the six rules are very clear to you go through the points very well and learn it very well and in the next class we will be going to discuss about the different usages of prepositions or how to use prepositions still we meet in the next class with the next topic i would like to sign off thank you